Downtown Rochester is set aglow tonight as the stage is all set for the big bright light show celebration tonight. It's a time for families to get out and enjoy those dazzling lights. And my six o'clock co-anchor Carolyn Clifford is taking us to all the fun in Rochester. Carolyn, how's it going out there? Oh, it's going great. Not too cold, Mike. A lot of people are starting to come here to downtown Rochester. Hard to believe Lanyap is in its 50th year. Can you believe that? And the big bright light show, which started 18 years ago, is one of the reasons all of these businesses are booming right now. There are 1.5 million LED lights lining the buildings all along Main Street, which is blocked off tonight, including Dessert Oasis and the big bright light show help put them on the map. Check it out. This photo is a 13 year old Nathan Hamoud who started roasting coffee as a little boy when no one in his family drank it. I saved up, bought this little Ronco rotisserie oven that was converted to a drum roaster and that's what I got my start roasting on. He was just a little tyke when his dad opened Dessert Oasis right here on Main Street during the recession in 2009. At the same time, the big bright light show was just kicking off. I remember our first line up. I remember stepping up on, you know, literally a milk crate to, to get onto the espresso machine. Um, or yeah, it was, uh, you know, and it was just so much of a busier night than we were used to back then. Uh, so, I mean, it, it really brought in a ton of folks. Since then, their business has been booming now with four locations. And tonight they are opening a speakeasy called the Eastman in the basement of the location right here on Main Street. Just about everybody wants uh, hot chocolate or a nice cup of coffee or something to, to uh, sip on while they're walking around. And now we have the added advantage of giving them uh, the best cocktails in town. Now 26, Nathan has won dozens of competitions for the coffee he roasts locally. I've placed in the uh, America's Best Espresso competition and then we've won some uh, awards with like the Golden Bean Awards. And the Big Bright Light Show brings him memories and joy of what his journey has meant to him and his family. I mean, honestly, after, you know, a really busy night in the December season, just stepping outside and seeing those lights, you know, every year it, it is still pretty breathtaking, honestly. Yeah. So spectacular, right? They say the Big Bright Light Show has increased their business. Listen to this, Mike, 500 percent and this is what it's all about these kids back here you having fun yes. yes it's an annual tradition our own dave llewellyn who retired from seven in april will be on the stage with santa and mrs claus coming up at 7 p.m they will light the town and for the first time ever there will be a fireworks show how about that we'll have it all for you for all of these people out here having fun on a cold monday night